Hey guys, welcome back to our Bible study of John. In our last video, we looked at the end of John chapter 1, where John the Baptist declares Jesus as the Messiah, and the first disciples follow Jesus. If you missed that video, please check out our Bible study uh, playlist. I'll link it above. In this video, we'll begin uh, John chapter 2, looking at verses 1 through 12. So if you want to pause the video and grab a Bible, let's turn to John 2 verse 1. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus also was invited to the wedding with his disciples. When the wine ran out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what does this have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the master of the feast. So they took it. When the master of the feast tasted the water, now become wine, and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and when people have drunk freely, then the poor wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. This, the first of his signs, Jesus did at Cana in Galilee, and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. After this, he went down to Capernaum with his mother and his brothers and his disciples, and they stayed there for a few days. Jesus was on a mission to save the world, the greatest mission in the history of the world. Yet he took time to attend a wedding and take part in, his, in its festivities. We may be tempted to think that we should not take the time out of our work for social occasions, but maybe these social occasions are part of our mission. Jesus valued these wedding festivities because they involved people, and Jesus came to be with people. Our mission can often be accomplished in joyous times of celebration with others. Bring balance to your life by bringing Jesus into times of pleasure as well as times of work. Weddings in Jesus' day were week-long festivals. Banquets would be prepared for many guests and the week would be spent celebrating the new life of the married couple. Often the whole town was invited and everybody would attend. It was considered an insult to refuse an invitation to a wedding. To accommodate many people, careful planning was needed and the groom had the financial responsibility. To run out of wine was more than embarrassing. It broke the strong unwritten laws of hospitality. Because of a lack of water purification process during ancient times, wine was typically diluted with water which was safer to drink than having water alone. So running out of wine may have even opened up the groom to a potential lawsuit from the relatives of the bride. Jesus was about to respond a genuine need. In verse 4, Mary was probably not asking Jesus to do a miracle. She was simply hoping that her son would help solve this major problem and find some wine. Tradition says that Joseph, Mary's husband, was dead. So she probably was used to asking for her son's help in certain situations. Jesus' answer to Mary is difficult to understand, but maybe that's the point. Although Mary did not understand what Jesus was going to do, she trusted him to do what was right. Those who believe in Jesus but run into situations they can't understand must continue to trust that he will work in the best way. Mary submitted to Jesus' way of doing things. She recognized that Jesus was more than her human son. He was the Son of God. When we bring our problems to Christ, we may think we know how he should take care of them. But he may have a completely different plan. Like Mary, we should submit and allow him to deal with the problems as he sees best. People look everywhere but to God for excitement and meaning. For some reason, they expect God to be dull and lifeless. Just as the wine Jesus made was the best, so life in him is better than life on our own. When the disciples saw Jesus' miracle, they believed. The miracle showed his power over nature and revealed the way he would go about his ministry, helping others, speaking with authority, and being in personal touch with people. Miracles are not merely extraordinary events, but events that demonstrate God's power. Almost every miracle Jesus did was a renewal of a fallen creation. He was restoring sight, making the lame walk, even restoring life to the dead. 
believe in Christ, not because he is a superman, but because he is the God who continues his creation even when we are poor, weak, crippled, orphaned, blind, deaf. In the last verse, Jesus went to Capernaum after the wedding. Capernaum became Jesus' home base during his ministry in Galilee. It was located on a major uh, trade route and was an important city in the region with a Roman garrison and custom station there. At Capernaum, Matthew was called to be a disciple. The city was also the home of several other disciples and a high-ranking government official. It had at least one major synagogue. Although Jesus made this city his base of operations in Galilee, he condemned it for the people's unbelief. With verse 12, the chapter transitions uh, with Jesus' movement from Cana in Galilee to Capernaum, an eventual arrival at Jerusalem for the Passover celebration. All right, guys, so that concludes our study of John chapter 2, verse 1 through 12. Next time, we'll pick up in verse 13 with Jesus' arrival at Jerusalem for Passover and when Jesus clears the temple. Please share this Bible study series with friends and family. I pray that it can be a blessing to you and that we can continue to grow in Him uh, through His Word. If you have anything to add or have any questions, please comment below and please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we post a new video. Love you all. Peace.